Okay, so here we are. It's time to do an unboxing here of uh, Pure Solar, the reprint. Um, I ordered it and finally just came. Took about took a little more than a week to get here. Um, I already opened up just to make sure everything was in there. And uh, let's take a look and see what we got. So, there is our game in this nice little plastic box. A little piece of cardboard around it so the corners don't get dented. And then we got this letter here. Letting us know that we bought the game, pretty much. And that's about it. I also uh, ordered the... Uh, the four CDs um, that I'm hoping I'll get soon because I do have a Sega CD, um, which of course you can burn that the audio disc um, from their website. So let's take a look and see what's inside the box. Get that out of the way. And as the um, the original one also came with this piece right here to let you know that it's it's unopened, and it almost uh, makes me not want to open it, but you know. Do you want to actually play the game? I wonder, if they let, I wonder if you can peel it off without without damaging it. Let's see what happens. Oh no, no, not really. I'm not not easily, anyways. I guess I'm just gonna have to cut it. There you go, broke the seal. So let's take a look at what a $50 Genesis game is. And this was $50, $51 shipped. Um, so, not too bad. So, you know, you get this nice little uh, this little clear box that the uh, the non-reprint also came in this as well. Um, it has the, the watermelon logo on the back there, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's, kinda, it's original, so it's kind of neat to have. So let's take a look. Uh, feels and looks uh, pretty authentic. Um, actually, it's also sealed right here too with the watermelon logo, which is which is kind of cool. It's a nice touch, but also again makes me not want to open it. Um, but it's got that kind of uh, you know it's not fully transparent uh, plastic over the cover, which is really authentic. Um, the only thing that's not authentic is that it is the it's a Genesis Mega Drive box, as you can see here. They kind of just did it all in one instead of having a, a U.S. and uh, non-U.S. release. Um, I mean, I, I was a little disappointed with that, but I still think they did a very good job with it. I mean, the quality of it is is great. Um, and so you got you know, I mean, it looks pretty much like a standard game box. It's pretty, they did a, they did a really good job with it. Um, I'm very impressed with it. Um, it's even got the little little tab on the top to hang it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and open it up and uh, hopefully I don't have to tear this one too. Let's see if I can... This is not having any part of this. That that did not happen as as well as I would have liked it. Stick that over there, pal. Let's open it up and see what see what comes inside. So there we go. So there's the the inside contents here. We got our cartridge, of course. Got the uh, watermelon logo there instead of saying Sega, which is which is a nice touch. Um. So, yeah, you know, it's printed very well, the whole cartridge itself. I mean, it feels pretty much identical to a Genesis cartridge. I mean, they didn't really skimp out on the plastics or anything. So, very, very cool. In fact, I can compare it to another Genesis cartridge that I have right here. Just to see. And they even got it down identical to 
the types of uh, screws that hold it hold it shut. And another thing that's weird about it, it's got that little, weird little kind of chip in the corner. And I'm not quite sure why that's there, because um, it's definitely not on any uh, original Genesis cartridge. So let's take a look and see what we got. Well, first things first, we've got the instruction manual, which is printed in full color. Um, let's see if we can hold the camera back a little bit here. Um, so it's got, you know, pretty much everything about the game just all in here. It's it's printed very, very nicely. Um, the original uh, game was, um, the non-reprint was printed on, on just a nice paper as far as I could tell. Um, in fact, the manual might even be I almost identical, um, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so it's, it's very detailed. Um, I obviously haven't read it yet, so who knows how... Uh, how well it's written, um, but I'm assuming that it's probably perfectly fine. Um, it's got some, you know, nice sections here with some nice, some nice artwork, um, and of course it's got it in the other languages as well, French. Um, so that's so that's cool. Um, it, you know, it, it it's printed on nice paper. It's 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 really nice. Um, and let's take a look here at what else we got. Which is first we got some nice uh, some nice stickers, um, which is cool. I mean, this is really neat that they that they gave you some stickers to go to go with it. Um, not going to be putting those anywhere, but I'll keep them in the box, which is which is cool that they gave those to you. And it looks like we have ourselves a poster. So uh, bear with me a second here. I'm going to try and fold this open so we can get a, a shot of it. So uh, that's what the poster looks like. It says Pure Solar down at the bottom. You got the watermelon logo. And it uh, gives you a couple uh, little screenshots up there. Um, but overall, very, very cool. Very, uh, very nice job, watermelon. Uh, I was uh, actually had not heard about this game until a friend of mine mentioned it. Um, and I thought he was joking when he said it was actually coming out on the Sega Genesis. Um, but he also said that there was a, an original release that had come out, but they had, were sold out. So I kind of was like, oh, well, I'll probably never get my hands on it. But uh, thankfully, Watermelon uh, re-released it. And uh, now you've got this uh, really nice uh, reprint edition. Um, I will say, based on what I saw in the other version, is that the other, the original version uh, was a little bit, a little bit nicer. Um, came with, uh, I believe, a few more things. Um, it was kind of nice how they had the uh, it going for the different regions, um, which is a nice added touch. Uh, but this is definitely uh, something cool to pick up if you're a fan of the Genesis. Um, Give me a reason to pull up my Genesis and my Sega CD. So I would definitely recommend it um, if you're an RPG type gamer, and also just to support uh, Watermelon. Um, you know, $51 may seem like a lot of money, but you know it is a complete full game. And if you do have a Genesis, um, I bought the AV cable and everything to get it all hooked up. So uh, definitely uh, give it a look. Uh, you can check it out at PureSolar.com. Um, you can order it from there as well. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, leave any comments. Thanks.